hi guys welcome to the channel um welcome to this new video and uh today we're going to be talking about how to create this um raise button effect on coral draw this is called neomorphism i believe so um we're going to learn how to make this type of raised button in coral draw today now if you haven't subscribed to the channel i'd like you to and just subscribe right now to the channel so that and turn on um, post notifications so that you can get uh, updates of new videos as they come out okay so let's get to it so um to make this effect look better you have to have a background that is a bit darker than white as you can see this is the white area here and this is the background so first thing we're going to do is to get a box like this centralize it so after getting this box all we have to do is make it rounded like this make the edges rounded using the shape tool like so now all we have to do is make this box white remove the outline like so as you can see you can see the box there without outline rounded now the next thing is to use the interactive fill tool over here and just draw down like this at this direction now this first this side here it should be 10 percent black here as you can see the this um the next the color next to the main white as you do that then this other side should be white so the next thing you have to do you have to make two copies extra of this so that there will be three so you make another copy like this and you make another copy like this now this copy you have here one of them you use white background and white shadow and the other one use black shadow so that's how the effect works so this first one all you have to do is you come to interactive fill tool over here oh sorry you go to your shadow tool over here and for this one it's going to be white shadow so you draw up like this as you can see you change the shadow to white like so then you stretch this up so that will be concentrated let's bring this box out so that we'll see okay we can't see a shadow there so all you have to do is go to the shadow tool if you don't see your shadow there go to normal shadow as you can see go to normal and you should have your shadow so let's re return this as you can see we can see the white shadow showing at this top part so it's, as you can see our shadow on this top part is okay so the next thing we have to do we're going to get the shadow tool again and this time around we'll be on this other box here and we're going to draw down to this side the normal dark shadow but this time around the shadow should be maybe 50 percent black sorry go to the shadow here and make it make the shadow 50 percent black like so so let the shadow the dark shadow not be too strong so we don't want it to be too strong as you can see so we're basically done all we have to do now is place everything on each other but this this um this first box that doesn't have any shadow should be the box on top so you can just cut this and paste it so that to be on top um each of them so all we have to do now is just take this one and fix it on the same area with this carry this one and fix it on the same point with this as you can see we have our effect and you can just easily add any logo of your choice logo like this and just give it a font So let me just put an LG, let me just put LG and make this uh, gray like so. So let us assume, so let us say this is our logo. So that's it for this and um, before I uh, cut this video, let's try this tutorial on, let's keep this on our side and let's try this on a dark colored background. So let's say we have a background like this so 
I've not tried this before, but let's try it and see if it works. So we'll do the same thing here. Have a darker color like this. Maybe this background can be a bit darker. Let's see. No, no, no. I think this one is okay. So now all we have to do is just use our um, interactive fill. The same thing like this. We should go from this dark to maybe the background color dark. As you can see, this like this. So all we have to do is create two boxes again like we did this one here one thing you should know is that the darker side as this darker portion here should have the brighter shadow and this brighter side should have the darker shadow so let's apply the shadow again to this side so on this side we're going to pick maybe a brighter shadow remember to change it to normal Let's pick the shadow color again. Okay, this color can be a bit darker like this. So we'll do the same thing for this side. But this side should be just darker and let's check the darkness let's reduce it a bit and all we have to do is just cut and paste this one remember this one I'm not seeing the shadow on this one let's see ok let's use a brighter shadow a bit So as you can see, you just have to tweak this to your taste. As you can see, so what we have to do now, let's just put them on each other, like so, and put this one. So as you can see, we still have the same kind of effect here, and you can just take your time and do it. I'm, I'm just trying to rush so that the video will not be too long but you can take your time since you already know how concept works you can just take your time and work on it so something like this as you can see we have the bright one and we have the dark one so thanks for watching i would like you to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you get updates on more of this kind of videos and um Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.